Understanding how your Shopify store performs on Google search on other search engines and across other channels is vital. Two important free analytics tools that I recommend you connect with your Shopify store as soon as possible is the Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So today I'm gonna to share exactly how you can do this and how you can make the most of the Google Search Console and Google Analytics with your Shopify store. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and connect the Google Search Console and Google Analytics with your Shopify store. Okay, so here we are inside our Shopify store and what we want to do is connect Google Analytics and the Google Search Console with our Shopify store. So first, let's connect Google Analytics. Simply navigate over to apps within your Shopify store and then type in Google and then come down and click on search Google. Then navigate down and locate Google and YouTube. This is a completely free app and you can see that this app has over 7,000 reviews and the developer is Google LLC. Now, if you've already installed this app for any reason, you'll see open app. If you haven't, then you'll see install now. Go ahead and click here, then navigate down and click on install. Then we need to connect a Google account. Here you want to connect a Google account that you're gonna to use to set up Google Analytics. And you'll be taken inside the Google and YouTube app. And what we wanna do is connect Google Analytics 4. Simply come down and click on get started. Then here, what we wanna do is make sure that we have the correct Google account selected. This is the Google account that we're gonna to use to create a Google Analytics property. If you navigate down the page, you'll see this option, connect a Google Analytics property. Now we haven't created a property yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Either navigate over to create new, or simply head over to your browser and type in analytics.google.com. Now, if it's your first time ever using Google Analytics with your Google account, you'll be asked to sign in. Again, make sure that you've signed in with the correct Google account. Then you'll be taken here or you'll see the option to create a new account. Simply navigate down to account details and add your new account. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my business name. Then once you've added your business name, navigate down to account data and sharing settings. I suggest keeping this as default, then navigate down to next. Here we want to add your property name. Again, I'm going to add my business name. And the reason you might want to have a different account name from your property name is because the account could be an account that you use to manage all your different businesses, all your different properties. However, I just want to create one account and one property for my Sheetify CRM, which is a business. Then come down and add your reporting time zone as well as currency, and then come down and click on next. Here we want to add some basic business details, industry category. I'm going to select business industrial, then select your business size, and then click on next. Here we can choose our business's objectives. I'm gonna go ahead and click on drive online sales because this is the main objective of our Shopify store. And then I'm also going to select these options. Now it doesn't really matter what you select here, your account will still be set up correctly. Then come down and click on create. Then come down, read and accept the data processing terms as well as the GDPR. I'm gonna go ahead and click here and then click I accept. Then here, what we're gonna do is click on skip for now and then click on continue to home. Then here, what we're gonna do is click on web and then add your Shopify URL. As you can see, this is my Shopify URL. And if you wanna find the correct Shopify URL that you're using with your Shopify store, simply log into Shopify, come down and click on settings and then navigate up to your store name and then simply copy this URL. Okay, so back inside Google Analytics, once you've added your URL, go ahead and add your website name and then click on create stream. And just like that, we've created a data stream. Okay, so what we can do is exit out of this and then head back over to our Shopify store. And back inside the Google and YouTube app, what we're gonna do is come back down here and click get started again. And again, make sure that this app is connected to the right Google account. Remember, this is the Google account that you use to create your Google Analytics account and property. Then navigate down to connect a Google Analytics property and click here, and then simply select the data stream that you created earlier inside Google Analytics, and then click on connect. 
And as you can see, you've successfully set up Google Analytics 4. Now let's jump onto the front end of our Shopify store. And then what you wanna do is navigate through each of your different website pages. I'm going to navigate over to tutorials and then scroll through this page over here. And what we're doing is sending data back to Google Analytics to make sure that it's working correctly. So take the time to navigate through your different pages on your Shopify store. Also, what you can do to check that the purchases are working is to purchase one of your products. And Google Analytics will collect the data of a purchase. You can always refund that test purchase inside Shopify. Okay, so let's head back to Google Analytics and then navigate back to home. And as you can see, this is our Google Analytics dashboard. If we navigate over here, you can see that we've had one user in the last 30 minutes. If we come down and view real time, we can see that this is me, I'm currently in Bali. If I navigate down here, you can see all the pages that I navigated through. You can also navigate down and see the different events, page view, user engagement, first scroll, scroll, and session down here. Now, if you made a purchase, you should be able to see a purchase in here too. Now, if you wanna learn how you can get the most out of Google Analytics, then what I'll do is add a complete Google Analytics tutorial down below in the description for you to check out so that you can learn more about leveraging Google Analytics to analyze your website's performance. Okay, so next, what we wanna do is connect the Google Search Console with our Shopify store. To do that, simply head over to your browser and type in Google Search Console. I'll also add a link in the description which will allow you to quickly access your Google Analytics account. I'm going to navigate down and click on Sign In to continue to Google Search Console. Again, you wanna make sure that you've signed in to the correct Google account. Then down here, what we wanna do is add our website URL. To do that, I'm going to head over to my live Shopify store, and what we wanna do is copy our entire URL. Then head back to the Google Search Console, and then paste your URL in here. Then click on Continue. Here we want to come down and click on HTML tag, click here, then come down and copy this snippet over here. We want to add this snippet just below the head section in our homepage. Okay, so to do that, let's head back to our Shopify store, then navigate over to online store, then come down and click on these three dots. And what we're gonna do is duplicate this theme. And that's gonna make a copy of your website, a copy of your theme. This is best practice when you make any changes to your website code. Essentially what this is, is a backup of your website. Then what we're gonna do is navigate back up to these three dots and then click on edit code. Then what we wanna do is click on theme.liquid. We want to customize this file, then locate head over here. So here we have head, simply click next to head and hit enter and then paste in the code that we copied from the Google search console. And as you can see, we've added that code in here, then go ahead and click on save. Now let's exit out of that and then head back to the Google search console. And the last thing that we need to do is click on verify. And as you can see, the ownership is verified. Come down and click on done. Then to head over to your Google search console property, simply click here and then click on your Shopify store. And congratulations, just like that, you've connected Google Analytics and the Google Search Console with your Shopify store. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into the Search Console, then what I'll do is add a tutorial down below in the description, which will help you get the most out of the Google Search Console. I'll also add other relevant Shopify tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.